Hello everyone. Very warm welcome to Think Constructive. I am Isha and today I have got an extremely important session for you that is session on lambda expression. It's an important edition of Java 8. This is one feature which is very widely used among Java developers and an important interview questions for Java developer interview or Java architects interview. Okay, I have been taking Java interviews from many years for variety of roles and this is one question which I generally ask. Okay, so now you can understand the criticality of this feature. In this session, I will be talking about the details of Lambda expression followed by variety of demonstrations. Okay, so stay connected, watch the session till the end, then only you will be beneficial from this session. Alright, so let us start with the Lambda expression discussion. I will give you the quick overview of lambda expression with the key features and the variation of the syntaxes and then we will see the demonstration uh, with the examples. All right. Lambda expression is one of the very interesting addition of Java 8. It is an extremely important key feature of Java 8 although Java 8 provides whole lot of other features but this is one of the very very useful of useful feature of Java 8. How does it help developers? It allows them to use the complete functionality as method arguments or you can also call it it allows developers to use code as data. The detailed explanation of these points I will be demonstrating in a while. All right uh, prior to the demonstration I will just show you the syntax and then we'll move towards demonstration. Let us see in which ways we can use the lambda expression. The first variation of the syntax is just empty parenthesis with the expression. That means the method doesn't have any argument. So no arguments, empty parenthesis pointed by expression. Or if there is one argument or one parameter, so parameter pointed to expression or within parenthesis also you can use it either way is fine all right if there is more than one parameter then parameter one separated by comma parameter two and then expression enclosed within parenthesis or parameter one parameter two enclosed in parenthesis pointed to within curly braces code block so here code block means if there are more than one statement you should be, be keeping them inside the parenthesis if there is only one statement you can just write that statement within uh, without curly braces or with curly braces either way it is fine all right so these are the uh, variety of syntaxes of lambda expression now we'll quickly have a look on the demonstration with the examples comparison with the anonymous classes all those stuffs all right and i will be using intellij idea as an editor you can use any Java editor of your choice, whichever you are comfortable with. Uh, there is no issues at all. All right. Here is the IntelliJ editor. And from this, I will be demonstrating you certain variations of Lambda expressions. All right. So, this is the first program which I will be discussing. That is Lambda expression for no parameters. All right. So, let us start from the interface. So, here is an interface named as welcome. And this is a functional interface with exactly one abstract method okay there is a class called as no param and this class inside this class i will be implementing this interface so how currently i have done currently i have done it without lambda expression with the help of anonymous classes this is how the method will be implemented okay now we will we'll just see how we can convert this to lambda expression and my code block will become smaller okay how do we do that? In order to convert it to lambda expression, we don't need all this. Okay, we just need because this welcome message abstract method doesn't have any argument. So, I will just give blank parenthesis with a pointer sign here and done. Isn't it? I am just shifting it to the same line so that it is more readable. That's all. Sorry, I will just remove it. Okay. So, with lambda expression, this is all you need to do. You will just give blank parenthesis as this method does not have any argument, pointer sign and within curly braces, whatever implementation you would want to write. Since this is just one statement implementation, so for this you do not even need this curly braces also. So, I will just remove it and you can see this code is beautiful. It will work fine. So, so much of less coding 
With a lot less effort, my lambda expression is implemented. I'll just execute this code and demonstrate this to you. See, what message I am printing? Welcome to Think Constructive and it is printed here. You can see it in the console. Okay. So, I hope with no parameter, lambda expression is very clear. We, we had anonymous classes and then we converted it to lambda expression. So, ideally this comment should be now with lambda expression. Alright. Okay. So, now we have the demonstration for lambda expression with exactly one parameter. Okay. So, again we have a functional interface here because lambda expression will be the implementation for functional interface with a lot less coding effort. Alright, okay, so we have functional, another functional interface here, welcome with one param and uh, my abstract method is welcome message with exactly one parameter called as message. Alright, so currently I have anonymous class implementation for this. You can notice here, this is how I have implemented this method. Okay, now let us convert it to lambda expression. How should I do it exactly? I'll just remove all this because for la lambda expression, all this extra piece of code is not at all needed. I'll just give empty parenthesis, not empty with one parameter it needs. So I'll, just, so I'll just pass message here and that should point to this thing, the implementation. All right. And I don't need this extra parenthesis anymore. Let us shift everything to one line so it is more readable and understandable to us. See, magic. Just one parameter parenthesis and that's all. My code is done. And since again, it is just one statement implementation. So, if you don't want to put this curly braces, that is also perfectly fine. No need. And let us now execute it. What am I getting? Welcome to Think Constructive. Why? Because in this parameter, in this message, I am passing Think Constructive from here. And what am I printing? Concatenated a string inside the implementation of this welcome message. Okay. So, I hope this part is clear. Let us now see more than one parameter lambda expression that is two parameter demonstration. Okay. Again, we have a functional inter interface with exactly one method having two parameters message one and message two okay so currently again i have anonymous class implementation for this here so this much of code i have for that implementation rather from here i should say okay and uh, how how can we convert it to lambda expression i'll just remove all this sorry yeah chill here that's not needed isn't it? Now you must be very comfortable, right? I'll just put parenthesis here with the pointer sign and in the parenthesis, I'll pass my two parameters, which in this case, message one and message two. Okay. And uh, again, this, this parenthesis is not needed. Okay. So, Within this parenthesis, two parameters pointing to the implementation directly. Only one statement. So, if I want, I can remove this curly braces. That is also perfectly fine. And that will make my code much smaller. So, no more extra line of coding is needed. Your code will be very compact, maintainable and readable and very easy to implement. Okay. Let us have one more. Uh, let us have one more printing statement here system.out.println and let's say I will just say this is lambda expression. Alright. Okay. So, now two statements within this method implementation covered inside curly braces and when I will execute it, what should I get? I will get first message as welcome to think constructive. Why? Because in message 1, I have passed think. In message 2, I had passed constructive. And welcome 2 was already the constant string here. 
So the concatenated message welcome to think constructive is printed here. And another fixed message I, I wanted to print this is lambda expression. So that also got printed. All right. So I hope this part is very clear. Now let us have another demonstration for lambda expression with exactly one parameter and return value. You can have more parameters also, but this is what I will be demonstrating. Okay. So again, here we have functional interface with exactly one abstract method, welcome message, with one parameter as message and with return value as string. Okay, so currently it is implemented with the help of anonymous classes. So method implementation is given like this, it is returning something. Okay, I would want to convert it to lambda expression. How would I do that? I'll just remove this piece of code like we did earlier. Put my argument that is message inside the parenthesis and put a pointer sign here and that's all that's all my lambda expression is implemented sorry i just missed to remove this extra curly brace so we have removed it and now there is no error okay so the moment this portion of the code is called it, it will get executed and will return message plus thing constructive so in message i can pass any string and that string in concatenation with thing constructive will be returned and finally when i will call this what will i get because i am also printing it so what will i get i will i should get a message welcome to thing constructive all right so let us execute it see what i'm what am i getting welcome to thing constructive all right so likewise you can return anything whichever is needed in your project okay and uh, that's how you can play around with the parameters and return value in lambda expression now i will just demonstrate you array list iteration with lambda because lambda expressions are very widely used for iterations also okay uh, for a different collection iteration you can freely use lambda expression that's going to be very useful there and that will make your coding much compact concise maintainable and readable okay so here in this example i have created an array list with three values okay for iterating this array list i'm using for each and inside for each i'm directly using lambda expression it's saving upon three four lines of extra code here here you can notice inside parenthesis i'm just putting val and printing the val here Okay, so whatever value I am getting out of the iteration or out of the array list should be printed here. That's all. So let us now execute this code. See, all three values I have got successfully. All right. So this is one more use case of lambda expression where it's going to be very useful. So lambda expressions will be very useful wherever functional interface implementation is needed, wherever you want to save upon the lines of code in such scenario where lambdas are applicable and will be very useful in case of uh, collection iterations or even driven programming, all those kind of stuff. All right. I hope you followed this, these demonstrations, these, these examples with me. If not done, please do so. That will be very helpful for you. Okay. So just to wrap up what all we have covered today. We, we talked about lambda expressions, overview, key features, variety of syntaxes, followed by the demonstration. So I hope it was really useful session for you. Thank you everyone for watching this session. I hope it helped you and now you understood lambda expression in good detail. Whatever your thoughts, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. Ask your doubts in the comment section. That will be helpful definitely for you and for everyone else also. If you like the session, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more informative sessions like this. Alright, happy to have you back in the next session. Thank you once again. Bye for now.